morning, Booth Warriors. This is Miles and Alex. And today is Patriots Day, Monday, September 11th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence while we reflect on today's activities and focus on demonstrating our best behavior. Please be seated. If you need a quiet space to complete your work, you can go to the Media Center at 7.30 a.m. till 8 a.m. for study hall. Jumpstart your day in a productive way. Yearbooks are on sale. Go to jobstonsyearbook.com to purchase your yearbook before the price goes up. Yeah, you're probably going to want a yearbook. 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 The book that brings memories back. Yearbook. Yearbook. The book that brings memories back. The book that brings memories back. Come join the STEM Club, Thursdays after school from 3.15 to 4.15 in the cafeteria. It will begin Tuesday, September 19th if you would like to join. Please get a permission slip from your science teacher and turn it to your science teacher by Monday, September 18th. Je 7th graders, Jekyll Island uh, field trip is October 2nd to the 4th. Slots are filling up fast. See your science teacher if you want to sign up. Hurry! If you love science and trivia, then the Science Bowl is for you. Science Bowl trials will be September 19th at 7.15 in room 721. Email Ms. Butera if you have any questions. Get caught wearing spirit wear. If you need to get spirit wear, go to the school website, then select resources, then PTO. Look for store, to, so get your spirit wear. Fun Friday dot. Did you hear? Friday, September 15th is Fun Friday Dodgeball. This is for those who want to play or those who just want to watch. Check out the flyer, scan the QR code on the flyers, and sign up. Warriors, there will be a dodgeball tournament on Friday, September 15th from 3.30 to 4.30. It will cost $5 to play. Come and meet new friends and have lots of fun. Car owners, please pay attention out front and watch for parents. There are 1,100 of us to get dismissed at the end of the day, and we want things to move along smoothly. Bus riders, make sure to stand on the sidewalk if your bus has not yet arrived. Also, pay attention to the buses. You don't want to miss your ride home. Stay on the right path. Be prepared, accountable, thoughtful, and helpful. Are you a creative warrior looking for a club to make fun art projects? Well, you are in luck. Mrs. Raymer is creating an art club. Meetings will be designated Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.30. The cost is only $20. Talk to Mrs. Raymer if you want information about how to join. Get the school year off to the best possible start. Sign up for a library card. September is library card sign up month. Sign up to get a library card by getting a form from Mrs. Mosley in the Media Center. Take the form home and have your parents complete it and sign it and bring it back to the Media Center. Come back to the Media Center to get your card. With your library card, you can borrow books, magazines, ebooks, and movies all from the public library. Celebrate National Library Card Sign Up Month. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Addie. And Finola. With a few words of wisdom. 22 years ago, on the morning of September 11, 2001, four planes were used in a coordinated terrorist attack. Two planes crashed into the Twin Towers in downtown New York City. A third plane flew into the Pentagon building in Washington, D.C. And the final plane was brought down by passengers who had become aware of the other attacks. In a field in Pennsylvania, 2,977 died. people died in the attacks, including civilians, military personnel in the Pentagon, and the emergency firefighters, police, and medical workers who arrived at the scene. 
The attack had a profound impact on the United States and the rest of the world. The U.S. Congress designated September 11th as Patriot Day to remember and honor those who died. On this day, flags are set to have staff and many observe a moment of silence at 8.46 a.m., the time when the first plane hit the Twin Towers. The most important part of observing this day is a moment of silence that occurs at 8.46 a.m. Eastern Time. This is when the first plane struck the North Tower of the World Trade Center. This is a time of prayer and remembrance of the victims who lost their lives in terrible attack. It is also a time to reflect on freedom as well as the heroes who gave their lives saving others. Please join us in a moment of silence to reflect on those who gave their lives for our freedom on this day and many days to follow. With something to think about, this is Vanilla and Addy. Make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is always yours. Good morning, Blue Warriors. It's Owen bringing lunch menu for Monday, September 11th, 2023. Your choice of entrees are hamburger with whole grain bun, hot dog with bun, fish sandwich, or a jam pack. Your choice of size are baked waffle fries, baked beans, shredded lettuce with diced tomatoes, fresh watermelon, and a baked chocolate chip cookie. And of course, a daily choice of milk. Have a great day, Warriors. Good morning, Booth Warriors. This is Tomas bringing you the weather for Monday, September 11th, 2023. The high for today is 89 degrees and a low of 67 degrees with a 0% chance of rain. There will be recess today. Tomorrow, there will be a high of 98 and a low of 68 with thunderstorms. There will not be recess tomorrow. Have a great day, Warriors. On September 11th, it was a normal day. It was actually beautiful out. I was working in a hair salon in Long Island, which is a suburb kind of area of New York outside of Manhattan. I was outside and we just saw a billowing of smoke, just smoke coming out that would, you would almost think were clouds, but it came from the bottom and kept going up. We knew it was a fire, but I didn't realize it was as far as Manhattan that I was able to see where we were. We turned on the news and we saw the tower was hit. It's 8.52 here in New York. I'm Brian Dumble. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We understand America that it was in progress in the East Coast and the Midwest, but we're joined by the entire network just to show you some pictures at the foot of New York City. This is at the World Trade Center. My name is Michael Farinacci. I'm a commercial pilot. The day of September 11th, very scary time for our country and as a pilot, I was actually doing some flight training with uh, one of my clients in a small Cessna aircraft, talking with ATC at the time and on this instrument approach into Lakeland, Florida. Just as we finished the approach, the uh, ATC tower at Lakeland asked us to land, which is a very odd thing because the uh, tower never asks the pilot to land. The pilot requests to land. And uh, of course, one of the first things you think about is what did I do wrong? That wasn't the case. Uh, they asked us to land, and, and when I pulled off the runway and contacted ground control, I asked ground control, I said, was there a problem? Why, why did you ask us to land? And they said, we we're unable to tell you uh, details, but the, the entire nation is under a national ground stop. And that meant something very big. And there were about 30 of us in the hair salon were watching the news, and we saw it being hit again. At the time, I was At actually flight attendant for Delta Airlines. Previously been a flight attendant for American Airlines out of Boston. And flight 11 was a flight that I actually flew several times. What I was thinking was whether or not I knew anyone on that airplane. And I didn't, which was very surprising because Boston was a very small base and we knew pretty much everybody knew everybody. But I've been gone for about six months when 9-11 happened. And so I did not know anyone on the airplane. First thought was just couldn't imagine what they had gone through. At, at that time, no one understood what was going on or if it was going to continue happening or what to do. Our boss gave us permission to leave and I drove that 30 minutes back home to Queens shaking. I didn't know what to expect on my way home if even an airplane was going to fall out of the sky. I... That this was a, a horrific situation that we were in and things slowly got back to what we call a new normal to where there was much more strict protocol in order to be able to fly. You could only fly in certain areas and you had to have the aircraft uh, under special permission uh, to fly. And 
As soon as we got home, I felt I was in the safety of my home, but still unsure because I knew my father worked in the tower. I had friends who worked in the tower. A lot of people I know were fire department and police officers also. I guess the first few hours was spent watching the TV. We saw another building be hit, everything just going on on TV. And it was hard for me because I had a six-year-old and I didn't want him to see me worried. I had to stay calm and stay in the living room and keep him watching cartoons away from this. The cell phone service was very different and our towers were still in New York, weren't working. So we just kind of waited to hear. I lived downstairs from my mother-in-law and she worked in Manhattan too. About seven hours later, she came walking home from Manhattan, gray, she was covered in dust and dirt and in pain and didn't know what was happening her whole walk home. But that day, once the tower hit, everybody, they found humanity in each other. New York changed, like from that, everyone kind of came together. That was one nice thing to see out of it, but the world kind of changed as I knew it. And after that, I never spoke about it until today. I never discussed it with anyone. Every September 11th, I made it a point to be on a cruise with my other children who didn't know that I was in Manhattan at the time. The last two years, we weren't away. This will be the second summer we weren't away because I was in another state and there are not as many memorials because that's hard. It's a tough day.